Is creatine worth it for beginners? Yes, creatine is often considered worth it for beginners who are looking to improve their strength and muscle mass. Creatine is a well-researched supplement with a good safety profile for long-term use, making it a suitable option for individuals new to exercise or strength training. Can I mix creatine with protein? Yes, it's generally safe and often recommended to mix creatine and protein powders together. Combining them can offer convenience, potentially enhance muscle growth and recovery. Can I take creatine on an empty stomach? Yes, you can take creatine on an empty stomach, but it might not be optimal for absorption. Some people find it more comfortable to take it with a meal or snack to avoid potential digestive upset. Taking it with food, especially containing carbohydrates and protein, can potentially enhance its absorption by triggering an insulin response which helps shuttle creatine into muscle cells. How much water should I drink when using creatine? The amount of water you need can vary based on things like your size, activity level and gender, but generally shooting for at least 3 to 4 litres of water or 10 to 14 cups per day is a good idea, especially if you're working out and using creatine. Drinking 4 litres of water a day is generally not considered normal or recommended for most people, as it can lead to overhydration and potentially harmful effects. While the need for hydration varies, aiming for 2 to 2.5 two litres of liquids for women and 2.5 to 3 litres for men is generally a good starting point for daily fluid intake. Here's why overhydration is bad for you. Drinking excessive amounts of water can lead to hyponatremia, a condition where sodium levels in your blood becomes extremely low. Electrolyte imbalance. Overhydration can also disrupt the balance of other electrolytes in the body, which are essential for various bodily functions, 